Hi everyone, this is Tammy at Information Press and I am in our great room that we call The Space, which is available for rent for all kinds of events, uh, community gatherings, business meetings, private therapy sessions, almost anything. If you'd like to learn more about renting the space, give us a call at 805-545-7916. And today I'm going to do a garbage to art uh, tutorial about art journaling. Now, I was first introduced to art journaling by my good friend Shelby Bay, so I got to give her props because I know she's going to be watching. She taught me how to do this particular uh, uh, book altering method that I'm going to show you. And if you're not familiar with art journaling, it's not a one-time kind of craft. You make it and you're finished. It's really for people who enjoy a regular creative expression. Some people do it every day, a page a day, just like they would do regular traditional great writing journaling. Um, with art journaling, you can combine all kinds of mixed media art projects with your own personal hand writing. You can still incorporate that kind of journaling, or you can make it, oh, my babies are stuck together. Must have gotten wet. Uh, or you can use different lettering techniques and say very few words. In some of my pages, I like to use what's called a hidden journaling. And in these three little houses right here, I've done journaling on the other side of them and then turned it over. So I remember what's there, but when people look at it, it still remains private. So this is just a little small sampling of what art journaling is about. And this is my first art journal, and this is an altered book. This is a hard kind of book. You need to use a hard bound book um, to do this, uh, which was, had a lot of negative connotations for me, and so I turned it into a personal work of art. Uh, of course, you don't have to have a book that has negative. Any, uh, any hard bound book you have, will work. You don't want something that has super thin pages, like tissue pages, but just a normal novel type of work, like this one is. The first thing you have to do is bend it back, break its little spine, and then you have to tear out a whole bunch of pages. About a third of the book needs to come out. So I think of it as save one, tear out two. Save one, tear out two, and on and on until you're through the whole book. Now I'm going to save these pages and use these for other craft projects later, so don't throw those away. We might do another video on that. Then once I get all the pages torn out, I'm going to use Mod Podge, which is my favorite adhesive. Um, you can also use plain white craft glue that you diluted about one third with water. So that's two part glue to one part water. But I like Mod Podge because it's not toxic, it's not really very expensive, a little goes a long way, and it's always the right consistency. So I don't have to worry about getting things too watery. So I use the glue, glue down the pages, two at a time. And that really depends on the thickness of the pages of your book. These are nice sturdy pages, so two is plenty. In some cases, you might need to glue three pages together to make your little starter. Um, but I've never seen a book so far that you would need more than three. So maybe just two, possibly three. Then once we get the uh, pages glued together, then it needs a coat of gesso. Gesso is my new addiction. It's a primer that turns almost anything into an art canvas. Uh, so these are pages that I've already glued together and coated with two thin, thin uh, coats of gesso. Let it dry, it dries pretty quickly. And now as you can see, each set of pages here, it is like a little painter's canvas that I can use. Watercolor on, acrylics, oil paints, really anything I want to do. So now you've got all this done, what do you do with it? We've got this great little art journal. I'm going to show you a super easy technique. Uh, 
journal pages can be as easy or as complicated as you want them to be with all kinds of stencils and stamps and, and cutouts and collage and it's very fun, especially if you uh, I still like to paste and glue and cut and throw glitter at things. Uh, Art journal is great for that. But this one is really very simple. What I did was I used some of these papers that we tore out before, tore them into pieces, and used my Mod Podge to glue them randomly onto, this is just some practice sheets that I cut out to show you this, but I just glued them randomly so that they make a nonsense pattern, upside down, sideways, it doesn't matter. You're not going to read it. It's just going to become background. And then once I got them glued, I used one of my favorite art supplies, these water-soluble crayons. But you could use an inexpensive set of kids' watercolor and get almost an identical uh, technique. So you don't have to make any big investment in art supplies. But you could also use uh, watered-down acrylics. Um, so there's all kinds of variety. So I put some color on there, take my wet paint brush, and it acts just like watercolor, uh, but it's a little more solid, not quite as uh, translucent, and I can, like with watercolor, I can make it as opaque or as thin as I want it to. So then once I've got that done, I started, which side is that? Uh, I started doing my little doodles on the side. And you do need a good uh, art pen. Regular old felt pens oftentimes won't draw over the top of different kinds of paint or the Mod Podge because it makes the surface really slick. And so you need to have a paint pen or uh, these are Copic or it might be Sipcopic, I'm not sure to tell you the truth. Um, art pins, they're a little more expensive, but you only need one or two to get a lot done. So I've done my little drawings. When I finish with my doodling, I'll do some actual word journaling in here um, uh, to, complete the, to complete the page. So that's a super quick tutorial on art journaling. It's therapeutic. It op can open you up to all kinds of other creativity. You can get kids into it. Uh, I really have recommend it for all you creative types who like a regular outlet. And as we close here, I want uh, my handy, handy, handy dandy camera person, Christine, that's kind of hard to say, say that three times real fast, um, to get in close so you can see what the rip and torn texture of the pages are doing. It seems like uh, kind of silly. Why do we tear off those pages and then paste them back in? But it creates such a beautiful random pattern and the paint picks up, uh, or the uh, pages pick up the paint at different levels at the edges. So even though it's really simple, it has a lot of depth and beauty to it. Uh, thanks for looking and we'll see you again next time.